Hi there, Shannon Ward with Colorworks, and today I wanted to tell you some things about the Gold Child. So first of all, the Gold Child is the one that we actually get the least amount of phone calls about. They tend to be the ones that want to obey and do what's right and be a helper to their moms and their dads. They very much want to live up to your expectations. And so it really helps if they know what it is that you want from them. So it really is a good thing to be able to tell them, you know, what you need or what the right answer is in the form of expectations. You can even say, I really expect your homework to be done by four o'clock so that we can leave to go take your brother to his soccer practice. And so by doing that and being very clear, then they know how to please you. They know what to do is right. Goals are very structured. They're very much um, focused on the moment, but they take that moment and they add a lot of structure to it. And so even if they don't have a plan or a schedule, they will try to make one for themselves because what that brings to them is a feeling of safety and security. So they really want to be able to have that um, in their lives, okay? Um, they need a schedule. They tend to ask you a lot of questions if you don't have a schedule. They like to help around the house and they can be somewhat serious. They also can have a really hard time sometimes understanding their own emotions and so they might um, have some meltdowns. If they're gold blue, they're going to do more meltdowns. If they're gold green, they're going to have more frustrations and like um, anger and, and some tantrums more would probably be more what they would have. Um, they are very, they like to be prepared. They like to know what's coming. So they do pretty good with information about how the day is planned. Uh, they might seem kind of green that way, but for them it's about the structure. It's about things that they can depend on and that they can know is coming their way. So that they can handle um, and be prepared for whatever it is that you have going on in the day. Uh, they tend to be very much about time. They're very, they kind of have an internal clock and they know that they're going to be late or that they're going to be on time. And if they're going to be late, that's pretty stressful for them. That can be kind of hard. And so Rebecca has some funny stories about her gold daughter and how her gold daughter would sense that they were going to be late and that would be really hard for her. And so she would kind of communicate that to her mom, even at a really, really young age. They tend to be kind of resistant to change, especially if they don't know that it's coming. And so it isn't a good idea to surprise them. They do much better with knowing ahead of time. And if you say that you're going to do a certain amount of errands, say on a Saturday afternoon in a certain order, and you change up that order, that's going to be pretty stressful for them. That's going to be hard for them to handle. They might have some meltdowns or some tantrums about that if they're younger. If they're older, they're going to ask you a lot of questions or be kind of frustrated in the background and, and not understand why they're doing that. They might question you. They might say, well, you said we were going to, and then, you know, fill in the blank. And so change is kind of hard for them if they don't understand why it's coming or, or that there's a reason for the change. They can seem kind of stubborn too, but it's really not about being stubborn like trying to defy you. It's really about the change is hard for them and they really want to go with the plan, the plan that was agreed upon at first. And so that's why they have a hard time with, with that kind of thing. Um, they use the word should a lot in their talk, even as young ones do a lot. And um, shoulds for them are kind of like the way of communicating expectations. So um, they sometimes can be kind of bossy. They can kind of tell people what to do. They may even try to parent you, which could be a little frustrating. And so um, that, that's something that they need to learn is you need to give them clear expectations about where their boundaries are as far as parenting everybody else around them. They want everybody else to do what's right. So their motives are really good, but it comes out a little abrasive and a little bossy sometimes. Um, some really good things about the golds is that they're very, they tend to be very organized. Now that doesn't mean that their bedrooms are going to be organized, but they'll try to organize their homework or their work or their assignments. They'll try to 
um, organize the things that are important to them. They'll try to organize the family. Um, so they're really good at that. They're really service oriented. So they love to help. They would be the ones that you can really turn to for assistance if things aren't going right or if you need help during the day. They are usually right there to be your little partners in crime. And so they're really good at that. And um, they love being able to check things off of a to-do list. So even younger golds do really well if you put things on a write-on wipe-off board. And you can put like their checklist in the morning like in permanent marker, and that stays on the board all the time, but they can check off little boxes or circles in front of those tasks with a write-on wipe-off marker, and then that can be redone every day. So that's kind of a hint that we give. Let me give you three little tips about golds. First of all, the one that I just kind of shared with you is they love to help like none of the other colors do. And so really have them be your, your organizing partners, have them help you. Rebecca has stories about with her gold, how she would um, match up the schedules for the day and be able to um, have her daughter help her figure out what they could get accomplished in certain blocks of time. And so she really kind of had Maggie be her little assistant at times. So that was really cool. Uh, when it comes to uh, a kind of a, a way to modify their behavior or to um, you know discipline them, a, a hint would be my second hint for you is if they're tattling, understand why they're doing it and redirect it. They're tattling not to be nasty or to be unkind or to you know be in everybody's business. They're tattling because it's stressful for them to see when someone isn't following the rules and they see you as an authority figure and someone who can fix it. So they're coming to you with information about how someone has broken the rules and they really need you as the authority figure to take care of it and fix it. And they can get kind of frustrated with a parent who puts the rules in place but then lets their siblings or other people get away with stuff that's not okay. So that's why they're tattling. So when they do tattle, redirect them and say, thank you very much for sharing that. I'll take care of it. You can let go of it now. You've come to the right person. And then um, you, you need to either take care of it or talk to them and, and say, it's okay for you to let it go. I've got it covered, okay? And it may not turn out the way that you want it to turn out, but thank you for the information and I'll take care of it. Those are the things that you need to say is thank you for the information. I'll take care of it. Okay. Um, the third tip or hint that I wanted to share with you today is that with your school age goals or your teen goals, right now, this time of year, springtime, is going to be pretty stressful for them because they're trying to get a lot of assignments done. A lot of times in um, normal classrooms, teachers are trying to get through stuff in the, at the end of the year. They could be rushing through it um, or maybe they're trying to uh, manage the classroom where there's people who aren't up on everything and so there's people who have got to catch up who are behind and also you might find your goals stressed by this if things are changing or there's a lot to do in a short amount of time that's going to be very stressful for your gold school age kids and gold teens um, and the reason that it's stressful is because of its its change because it's not structured and because they're being asked to do more than one thing at a time. And golds tend to really like to check off that list and do things one at a time. So this could be a really tough time of year. Springtime could be a tough time of year for your school age or your teenage kid, gold kids um, because there's a lot of changes going on in school. And so just be aware of that. Um, and do a lot of listening, do a lot of understanding and talking to them about what they can control. That's the best thing is help them see what they are in charge of, what they can control, and what things they just have to let someone else control. So there you go. There is some information on the gold child and three tips for um, working with them today. Hope this was interesting. Just know that for the next week that you can still get into module one for free of our class. The link is gonna be below this. And also too, there is a handout for you, looks like this, that if you'd like to get that, we have it as a link below too. So again, Shannon Ward from Colorworks, thanks for stopping by, bye.